Hey there guys, thanks for visiting my YouTube channel. My name's John and this video is answering a user submitted question that came in on the channel and every day, Monday through Friday, we take live questions on the John Campy Show. But every once in a while, somebody sends in a tip or a super chat that's like $50 or more. And I like to honor those by answering those questions on the show, but also answering them again in their own standalone video. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And this one comes to us from Ian Schindler who writes, hey John, I've just realized that YouTube has existed for 15 years. So the platform is now completely mature, right? You know, like TV was in 1945. <laughs> Very good point, Ian, by the way. So where do you see this platform going in the coming decade? What kind of content could we be watching in 2030? All right, thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And yeah, it is kind of weird, but you know what? YouTube has been around now for so long that a lot of us, and YouTube is such a normal part of so many of our normal lives and day. Like, I don't personally know anybody that goes a day, maybe my dad, but I don't know many people that can go a day without watching something, even if it's for 30 seconds, watching something on YouTube. It's just become such a staple of our culture right now. It's hard to imagine a time when YouTube wasn't around, but believe it, it wasn't all that long ago that there was not such a thing as YouTube. And even in those short 15 years, we've seen a lot of evolution in the platform of YouTube. From being just about 30 second cat videos to now there being like two and a half hour daily movie talk shows on it. From just being average everyday people using it to now networks are using YouTube and have their YouTube channels and using YouTube to promote their content and all that kind of stuff. We've gone from YouTube being a place of people just putting up random videos to now the, what we call the networkification of YouTube where a channel is actually more like a network now with multiple shows and, and weekly schedules and all that kind of stuff. So where does YouTube go from here? That's a good question. The evolution is not done though. And even external forces outside of just the creativity of random creators is gonna to come to bear to cause shifts in the direction that it goes. For example, we just had this whole drama with COPA, with the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, right? That caused a lot of waves and a lot of stirs, and I'm not even sure we're done seeing what the ramifications of all that is. But I do think a couple of things. Number one, even a decade from now, I still think at the heart of YouTube is going to be odd, random videos created by odd, random people. Whether it's the little 30 second cat video or somebody catching video of a baby trying ice cream for the first time. By the way, did you see that damn video? How is that not the most adorable thing you've ever seen in your life? If you haven't seen it, go look it up. Baby eating ice cream for the first time. Do a YouTube search. I'm sure it's trending. Anyway, but I also think we're going to see the continued evolution of some of the other major trends. The networkification of the platform. We're going to start seeing major studios, I believe, take advantage of the platform. But it's also going to be interesting to see how something like YouTube, which a lot of us thought for many years would become a primary destination for original content from bigger producers. But instead of going that way, we're seeing a lot of these big producers now creating their own subscription channels. NBC Peacock and also Universal, that sort of thing. HBO Max. Uh, obviously, we got Netflix, Disney Plus, and on and on. There's going to be more and more and more of those coming as well. So I think there's going to be a definite relationship over the next 10 years between how the streaming networks happen and how YouTube sorts sort of evolves. But I know there's a lot of different things to look forward to moving forward. I think it's just mostly going to be a continuation of what we've seen, notwithstanding external forces like COPA and other privacy issues, uh, piracy on top of privacy issues. All these things are going to shape the future. How and in what way? We're going to have to wait and see. The question becomes for you guys. What do you think YouTube is going to look like 10 years from now? What are some of the trends that you think we've already seen and that they'll continue? What are some things what we have on YouTube now that you think might die and go away? How do you think this whole thing's going to evolve? Jump down in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. All right, guys, that'll do it for me for now. Thanks a lot for joining me. My name is John Campia, and until next time, bye-bye.